Prepare for launch. Launch is a series of short videos and curated resources to support and equip ministry leaders for the important work that God calls us to, the work of growing in love of God and neighbor and the transformation of today's world. Today's focus is relationships over content. I'm Tanya. I'm Christine. And I'm Kathy, and we're your launch team. We like to start these videos with a quick intro and a playful question. So our question for this episode is, what is your favorite season of the year and why? Tanya, you want to get us started? Sure. I love winter. And even though um, I live in Texas, I and don't get to see snow very often. I love snow. I love seeing the white on the ground. I love feeling the chill in the air. Um, I love getting just to get all bundled up in winter gear. And so that is my, that is my favorite season, even though we don't really have winter in Texas. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. Summer is my favorite season because I live in Northern Illinois and Tanya, we get plenty of snow. You can have some of ours, <laughs> um, but I enjoy just walking and hiking and being outside. Uh, so summer is uh, definitely my favorite. I don't, Kathy, you're also a Midwesterner. How about you? Yeah. So the fall is the favorite is my favorite because I love the leaves changing color and the cooler temperatures like pulling out my jeans and my hoodie and campfires and s'mores, the cooler temperatures. And then when it starts to snow, I'm out. I don't like it anymore. Well, we're thinking about ministry during this time of COVID and how it's been exhilarating and exhausting and creative or having struggles. It really has been full of blessings and challenges. And ministry is about relationships. And this time of extended physical distancing in many parts of the United States and the world has allowed us an opportunity to reevaluate priorities. So Christine, would you talk about the importance of relationships? Sure. You know, I've been saying that, you know, in terms of Sunday school or faith formation, our kids and our parents are not going to remember 15 years from now, what lesson we taught on what particular Sunday. But what they will remember is how their church reached out to them and tried to be creative in maintaining relationships and connection in this really challenging time. It is not easy for anyone. And I know simple things like mailing a birthday card or uh, you know, dropping off treats at someone's door. Like these things are especially meaningful right now and they're really simple things that we can do to like continue those relationships. Um, and as a former kindergarten teacher, I will also affirm that uh, it's not necessarily the content. You're, when you're in kindergarten and when you're growing in faith, it's not always the information that's the most important. It's learning how to do those things and how to be in relationship with other people as you grow in faith and encounter God in the world. So uh, that would be sort of my take on relationships being most important. And if you are a person who um, has seen Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know, connection and belonging are, uh, you know, not the, at the very bottom, but just above our need for food and water. So focus on relationships and I don't think you can go wrong. Thanks, Christine. It's so important. I know the other day I was talking to someone who was grieving that she hadn't heard from anybody from her congregation during this entire COVID pandemic thus far. And it just broke my heart that no one from her church had reached out to her. The more that I listen to faith formation leaders, to families, to people in my community, I'm realizing that overwhelmingly we hear, and it's not surprising that people are tired, that they're exhausted, that they're overwhelmed, that they have Zoom fatigue, decision fatigue, just tired. And so the last thing that they want right now is something else to do. But the most important thing that they keep saying is, I want to feel connected to God and to my church. And so we do that important work, not by adding one more thing, but by asking, how do we keep people connected? 
how do we stay in relationship during this difficult time? Yeah, thanks, Christine and Tanya. I think um, oftentimes as faith formation leaders, we think about what are we going to do? And we've spent several podcasts talking about and videos talking about your why and knowing your why. And really when we're talking about helping children and families connect with God and connect with others, we're talking about relationships. So a few concrete examples for you. If you are doing things over Zoom, focus on games or ways that families can connect. Uh, a Zoom scavenger hunt or a hide and seek kind of a thing can be really fun. Uh, postcards can be great where you can send postcards to families so that kids get something in the mail. There's even a stamp. You can order an, a, a stamp with your face on it. You can get it from Etsy. We'll put it in the links below that you can send letters um, to kids and youth and adults and have your face stamped on it. It's fun. Create intergenerational pen pails, have some in-person options if it's safe for you to do so, uh, especially things like outside in the parking lot or a driveway visit. And those are things that you can do uh, if it's appropriate and with masks on for safety. There are lots of ways that you can connect and focus on relationship over content. And if you only have time to do one thing, focusing on relationships can be a great way to help families feel connected and we have something to come back to when um, it's safe to come back to in-person things more frequently. And if you just don't have the time to do content, there are so many places to find content that you can give to families who are looking for more so that you don't have to reinvent all of that. Thanks, Kathy. Really, really great ideas. And if you're looking for links to those resources and many others, we invite you to, of course, check out the resources in this playlist at launchfaith.com. We are so grateful that you joined us for this episode. We hope that you will join us for continuing the conversation in our launch group on the Vibrant Faith Catalyst. In our next playlist, we will talk about curriculum or not. So join us for that conversation. And until next time, be well.